Hey guys, Tantrap here, bring you a 1v1 today. We are on Toronto Coastline. I'm say spawning on the left is her Blautier back, playing is as Africa Core. With a uh, crud start. Utility on the right hand side we have a Thai player, their name translates to... Oh, Google Translate... Uh, Reverend Grandfather a Novice. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's their name, and uh, they're going for a U.S. Forces Pathfinder start. In terms of rankings, uh, Reverend Grandfather ranked 2 with USF at the moment. Very high rank. Back the other way, Herb Lauti around 100. With Africa Corps. This is a Patreon backer submitter game. So here we go. First we skirmish near this central fuel. Right, a spot of Panzer Grenadiers coming in. Interesting to see uh, early cap on the manpower point. Instead of just going straight there to the fuel with the crud. Taking a bit of a detour. Get more Pathfinders capping up fast as they do. But after three Pathfinders going into Rifeman now. Crud and Pathfinders arriving at the final fuel point at roughly the same time, so uh, looks like a pretty good start for her after Zondag winning that fight for this point. Reporting. Smooth sailing from then on. Oh, we're now going for a 250. And the pioneers are up here. Doesn't quite have the munis for flamer, but just about there. Looks like the rally point was set over to this point, so uh, took a bit of a diversionary path. Enemy forces have claimed our sector. Trading a couple of shots there. There we go, 250. Shuts down the cap attempt on the muni point. Get a little bit of heavy cover there. 250 comes in for a bit of a push. Oh, just drives into point blank. I can try to get onto the rear and side armor of the 250. Seems like the 250 does have a bit of trouble uh, tracking units as they run around. Stepwise transitions are now in a bit of a two on one. Oh! I thought I, I thought I had Panzer Grenadiers have been lost. Were I like crazy? They just got produced, right? Man, I was, uh, I was in full on panic stations then. Pathfinder's on the run. Oh, late retreat. They vault the fence though. A little bit of heavy cover as a couple bullets came through. But they do go down. Good chase down there by her. Nice. Point is being taken from us. So yeah, pretty uh, smooth sailing off the start. Maybe the Panzer Pies will be forgotten about it in the building at this stage. But he's going to do some repairs the Fox is fine to P Greens here. instead. No battle group lock in yet. Territory lost. Panzer Grenadiers have assembled. Third P Green. Okay. This is quite a lot of units to start off the mats. Crowd 250 and three Panzer Greens. I would expect on the back of that we will be seeing armored support. Since he's you know already got so much infantry. Other two commanders maybe don't make as much sense, so maybe we could still see some Karos. Have fallen out of favor though with the current meta. Treating from that grenade. Looks like the Pigrins are going to survive, especially because this rifle squad's not coming in to assist. Uh, fresh off some self repairs. Try to do a VP capture. The rifle, I'm going to force that away. 
We have lost control of the victory So far, it seems like the crowd is you know, not quite there, Vet 1. But once Our it does get it, you know, that Vet 1 ability enemy. combined up with the squad is quite a powerful combo. I can have tech anti tank grenades. 250 going to get slowed down here, so good move here. Try to do some capping and repairs with this. Send the other P green off. Uh, a little bit lacking in efficiency. You can queue up jumping back into the half track with the control hotkey. It's a bit different to uh, Company of Heroes 2. And I uh, didn't quite manage to repair this up, and now it looks like it's going to be a mass AT nade kill. Or maybe not, because perhaps Reverend does not have enough munitions for another AT nade. Tries to spin around, face the frontal armor towards the healthy squad, but not quite enough. Now a chase down, looking for the rifleman wipe and return. Oh, but the long range DPS of the P Green's not that good. So there was a good, good time to stop. Doesn't quite get the kill. So these guys popping pour it on and while they try to cap, but so badly outnumbered and outpositioned. Close one. We're losing grasp of the capture point. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see too much wrong with that overall. Alarm near our capture point. Don't know if you'd expect like somebody to have ticked anti tank grenades or grenades at this stage, though, you know, with the grenade tick getting reduced in fuel cost in the last patch, the maybe should sector. be more expected, especially if you've gone for both a crud and a 250. Kind of quite cheap, really, to counter those kinds of vehicles. The enemy is pushing through here. Decap on the fuel up here, and it's actually going to be connected as well. Two units coming up this way and bring up a flamethrower, which is good because otherwise these buildings can be a real nuisance. Units can store inside them for ages. We've been just trying to back away here. Crud getting involved. Looks like it may be... Oh, okay, it's going to come in for a cap. I thought it was coming in for a flank. And there we go. Hits V1. Popping that ability. Well, it's, you don't really have to activate it. It's just passively applies. And okay, that's an assault media calling. Interesting. Can leave you a little bit constrained. But we'll see how it works out. The problem is you often need the Panzerjägers against, you know, like the Chaffee. And no, uh, no 8 rad rush. Oh, he went for fire support elements. Okay, so yeah, definitely uh, an off-meter strategy here for her Blautier. This did get a little bit cheaper, but I still think it's uh, not that appealing of, of a tech tree. And uh, on this map, I feel like it's quite hard to use anti-tank guns. Like, they are decent through this area, but anywhere in the north, anti-tank guns incredibly hard to use on this map. The overall, quite a lot of infantry from Reverend as well. Smoke and cap attempt. It's just so much firepower, though. Don't think it's going to work out. Repaired up the 250. And look at this territory control. Incredibly strong in the north. This could be a bit of a dicey retreat for the assault greens, though. A little bit slow on the chase. I haven't seen as much body blocking in this game as I did in Company of Heroes 2. Is it less viable now? I haven't really done a deep dive on that. Doesn't seem to be as uh, prevalent. And it looks like Reverend is just going for full-on blob tactics. Hoping to catch this squad wipe on retreat. Bit of a push here from uh, her. It's going to cost him his 250, but means the P Green survive. It's probably a trade I'd be happy to take as well. 
point. But yeah, dominating territory control. Here comes the chaffee now. Even though there's only one vehicle on the map for her, and we, you know, you definitely expect to have seen the eight route by now if that's what her was going for. But the Chaffee does do pretty well up against the mediums as well. And the grid is upgraded with their MGs now. Should be able to fight back against the rifleman quite effectively who do not have bars. Saved all his fuel for Chaffee and of course has been decapped on his fuel for such a long time so imagine bars are still a way off. But I would expect still to see them. He has gone for enough riflemen to justify the bars. Chaffee doing his best here. No anti-tank grenades ticked on the Panzer Greens. So he's just going to have to soak up the bleed from the Chaffee, which is not that scary. Chaffee's trying to find the crowd, but it's long gone. Good awareness by Biblautia there. And okay, there we go. Bars are now online for Reverend after... The Chaffee comes out. Bit of a decapping here. He has managed to cut off all of this territory. It was a good move from Reverend. A little bit of run and gun chase down. A little bit of body blocking there, you can see it. Just a little bit though. A great AT gun positioning. And the right one are going to survive. Taken from yeah, as I said, this is kind of the area where you can use the AT gun to get a good shot off. With no AT nades, not much of a threat to the Chaffee. Looks like he's going to back out for repairs anyway. He's not having any repairs though. Not sure where he's going with this Chaffee entirely. Okay, it is going to be armoured support. Did go for superior fire drills at this late of a stage. You know, the other day we did see. Uh, who was it? Putt putt. Going for this commander and uh, going for the veteran gunners. Just so eventually when he did go for Panzer 3s, they could fight back against the Sherman tanks. They kind of need that extra pin boost. Give them a bit of a leg up with these strategies. The point. So the uh, Panzer Territory three flame tank isolated. could we have hit the field by them. now, but it did go for the stage of tech, so I wouldn't expect to have seen it. Must be Territory moving towards of one of these abilities. The enemy has taken a victory point. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure what's going on with this Assault battle group uh, unlocks. Making Ready use boarded. of uh, salvage there. Territory lost. Salvaging the 250. So, got a little bit of value out of that, but map is starting to turn very red. Aimer guarding the cutoff of the rifleman with bars coming in. Lob a grenade. Yeah, well, good reaction times. Got to retreat from those because if they throw the grenade slightly behind the cover, it's going to be full damage. Oh, but this is a late Pathfinder retreat. And there we go, Reverend losing a Pathfinder. Unforced error. Oh, that's a bad retreat path. Oh, somehow they survive. 250 takes an anti-tank nade. A bit of a throw on that. It was a, a call in again. So Green is throwing out some smoke. The Chaffee's coming up here. Well, what, what was the plan here for her bout here? I suppose the uh, fuel just coming online. A dice retreat path again. We've got Paras in the retreat, but he did not switch the focus fire across to that low health unit. 
Might be a bit fortunate. I think that could have gone down. Keep firing! Don't get distracted! Our troop is on the run. Overall, it seems like a relatively even trade here in the center. As long as nobody loses any squads. Pushing the retreat a little bit late there. Gets away with it though. That was uh, too close for comfort. Okay, let's see artillery from the captain dropping down. Doesn't look like it's going to hit too much. Just about ran into it with the pack. But so far the Chaffee has been uh, rather inactive, honestly. Maybe giving too much respect to the Panzergrades. Having the threat of range tank grenade does not have it. But we have the Panzer III in the build now. Back the other way, the um, motor pulled down, but no tank depot. Of course, no easy act corners to bail out Reverend. It's a uh, large amount of firepower there. No LMG on this, but he only just has the munis for it now. Not a huge deal. Gonna make use of the crud here, but it looks like it's finally gonna go down. A teenage. And those bars just have so much penetration. They do make it quite hard for these lighter vehicles. It's one major change between Co2 and Co3. How much pen these LMGs have compared to the light vehicle's armor. I think that does kind of hurt these Africa Core strategies where they do go for like a lot of 250s and the crud. Because as soon as the bars come online, the bars just shred those light vehicles. Makes it hard to use them effectively. It's one thing that I've found with my Africa Core struggles. Rifleman going up for the decap again. Seems like Reverend really likes this move. Coming up here to decap. Go for this. Cutting off all these sectors in the north. Maybe that's the third time he's gone for it. And to three and Chaffee. Into a bit of an exchange. Oh my... How did that AT gun connect? All the way back there. I can't believe it. Panzer 3 takes an engine crit. Should be alright backing away. Dropping down. Maybe another squad of paratroopers for bazookas. Oh, the AT gun though. It's under some pressure. Looks like it's going to get decrewed, but we do have a blob coming up to save the day. Oh, it's an AT gun dropping. Okay. That's a lot of firepower there. Just overwhelming wave. Able to recover. Standing by. What's the reinforce cost on these 28? We're losing grass. Bother munitions point. Pretty expensive. Chip away. He goes about recurring that. Unless he's got a squad of Panzer Pyres, but they're Territory occupied. Now in enemy hands. Did not go for a forward base as well to try and reinforce from this position. Could be if uh, a forward tech structure was constructed. Yeah, P Green's charging in here. This is not going to work. It's a, it's a bad feeling. Can't really win uh, any range if you don't have the. Uh, LMG. Well, even once you do have the LMG. <laughs> After that last bar buff. Need the combined arms bonus as well. But I think maybe, no, maybe they have enough firepower to beat single bar rifle. Two squads coming up to the north. Seems like now the crowd is down. Herb Blautier really struggling for territory control. 
huge proportion of the map is red. Panzer 3 has been out of action for quite a long time. And this is just a complete turnaround. I think these guys will be alright. Do have another squad of rifles coming in though. That, oh, and maybe the captain could get involved. Uh, even retreating four men. A little bit over half health. Salt greens go down, just a big old blob. I think it's marked there. The enemy have claimed our sector. And uh, with Africa Corps, it does get quite difficult to rebuild your infantry at this stage of the game. It always feels like you're suffering in terms of manpower. Got to keep these manpower points capped, if possible. Captured. And Shall doing a pretty good job of it. Got this one up here as well. Does Repairs complete. definitely Enemy. help things out. Enemy forces have captured a victory point. There's a three getting involved here. Takes another shot from the AT gun. Charging ahead, nonetheless. And that is a fresh chaffy. Looking for a wipe on the rifles, but they just survive. So the Africa Corps Infantry winning this fight, ultimately. The T-Gun is nearby. Not bringing it up here though to assist in this fight. So Brandy is doing pretty well and close. And the three trying to assist with a couple of long range shots, but yeah, no assistance from the pack that entire time. Looks like it's mobilizing now, maybe a little bit late. And the three's back repairs. We've got another Panzer three in the build, Chaffee and a T-gun. Wow, Pack actually missing its shot there, unfortunate for her. Trying to get involved now with this Panzer 3. This is the second shot. Trying to apply a bit of pressure with the flame. Uh, but I think this is a good time to disengage. In fact, it may even be too late. Would have survived one AT gun shot. Could of course attack round there with the AT gun changes. Oh, he's coming in with the fresh Panzer three and the Chaffee. Pushing his luck, trying to operate on low. Now don't do it again. Would have been fighting against one Panzer three, but against the second, not so much. Looks like we've got the uh, upgrade now as well for these. Yep, emergency repair kits are upgraded. So it should help with the repair times a lot. Did go for uh, the fuel point here instead of the VP. Looks like it's just going to be Chaffee's from Reverence. Feels like he can't go up to motor pool. Oh, the Pathfinder is getting roasted. I think that's the uh, machine gun upgrade. The superior fire drills paying dividends. All right. Well, they showed their strength there, and I, you know, if you're just going to be fighting against Chaffees, then, uh, yeah, that's definitely the better upgrade instead of going for the penetration boost. I did feel like Reverend had a, had a window to go up to the Shermans, but, uh, did not opt for it. The enemy sits at 200 points. Panther 3's backing all the way out here. For repairs. We need to uh, use them, I think, a bit in the north. Our fuel point How many pathfinders are left? Just one, is it? Zero? Zero Terrible pathfinders now? So, it uh, can be a decent time for a machine gun for her, the I guess. Help try lock down us. the VPs now that there's All no right. pathfinders for trees and smokes. Just uh, with a bit of field presence. 
Try to lock down this VP area. Enemy forces have taken our maybe territory. here wants to go for more tanks. So we're getting dropped down, trying to clear off the VP area. Looks like her hasn't noticed. Shell stun to land, Chaffee's coming in. Oof. And the Pegrins survive. This is uh, oof, a very late reaction. That's a lucky escape. Chasing away all the units in the north with the Panzers. Mm, I thought he might have gone for rapid advance. These Africa Corps upgrades are definitely tough to afford with all the uh, cost increases. But still, like a big fleet of Panzer 3s can work this patch, I, I believe. Especially uh, with the Panzer Storm ability, if you cut run up against any enemy armor. He hasn't locked into anything. He's got command points for days, but he doesn't have a huge reserve of munitions to use them with, so not a big deal. Battlefield salvage, I suppose it could be using that. I don't see any wrecks around at the moment. Okay, breach onto the building. Oof, last second, that was extremely close. Nearly got hit by that breach nade. It's absolute last moment to dodge before he would have taken huge damage there. But uh, good work from Reverend capping this VP. Well, uh, who is activated or occupied in the north? The Panzer three is chasing away those rifles, doing the capping now. Keeping that VP pressure on. Dodges that grenade reasonably effectively, and the assault greens V three comfortably winning against the Paras in close. T-gun rolling up here with a bit of support. Okay, we've got some mines coming in. Only one Panzerpio, and they've already got the Flamer, so mines could be his undoing. Of course, you can activate Panzer Storm, ignore all the mines, but might not be going for that yet. Second anti-tank gun. I think that's a good choice from Reverend. And he's dropped down the planes for the uh, free reinforce. The T gun's under a bit of pressure. Looks like Hurst is completely disengaging from this area. Oh, Pentapios. Oh, they're going to survive again. A very close call. Once more. Yeah, trying to go for the cap here, but yeah, it's just not going to work. Oh, and this could even be a squad wipe now. Coming in here. Only one rifle squad's coming in. The Chaffee's not getting involved either, so it should be fine. But I think that was fine. Just oh, complete disengaging. Is this a... For some reason I thought I saw a command tank. Has locked in uh, to the Panzer IV command tank. Has an option. And here we go, Triple Panzer III is getting a nice squad wipe there. Big grenade. The three's circling around. Using them all in one control group or something, it seems like at the moment. I'd probably split them up, two in one group, one in another. Or maybe just go for Panzer Storm at this stage. A Panzer Storm, I think, would probably be GG right now. Could just turbo speed in here, circle around these AT guns, and that'll be that. But at the moment, 
Bit of a traffic jam. Looks like a Panzer III is about to go down to the double AT guns. No. Enemy Panzers crossing the line! One of them does get decrewed as well. Here we go. Panzer III is coming back in. No. Yeah. In two minds about what he should be doing. Get this stage. I'd probably go for a split. Put this in one control group. These in another. Send this guy up to stop this VP capture up in the north. Seems like her is reluctant though to split up these tanks. Trying to come forwards for a kill on the decrewed AT gun. Got there a little bit too late though. And now this AT gun is unsupported. It's going to turbo repair everything. The entire army. And it's just not quite getting the VP drain he needs to close out this match. And the uh, tank depot is coming up now. Take a quick look at Reverend's resources. He's already got a Hellcat coming out. Oh, but there we go. Swarms in. Knocks out the Chaffee. At just the right time, really, as well. He did end up running over that mine, as I feared. Can't quite uh, close the show in terms of VPs. P Green's chasing down the AT guns. Get back to base. Might still get decrewed, but not. Lucky, lucky. One of them gets decrewed. I'm surprised that MG wasn't firing that bush, just providing enough vision blocking. Sopranity is capping in the north. Maybe a little bit slow getting on this VP capture. Oh no. Left the capture circle. Okay, here we go. Finds the moment. Drops the planes, the anti tank planes. Panzer threes coming in for the kill. And an easy kill at that. Oh, smoke out. Saving the day there. Well done. I was thinking maybe you could have gone on to hold fire and disappeared into the fog a little bit faster, but smoke also a, a fine option. Anti tank guns now getting to work here with some attack rounds. So be very careful about attack round this patch. Ignoring all collision makes it very easy to be effective. A lot of repairs required now for these Panzer 3s. But uh, good work from her, capping in the north. Goes for another call in at this stage. Not going for rapid advance. And here we go, this is trouble. Double AT guns lighting up these Panzer 3s again. But, you know, good uh, capping in other areas of the map. Backing away for repairs now. We're losing grasp. Victory point lost. Enemy forces have fallen to 50 points. Territory overrun. The stage could even be worth just camping out this VP with these two Panzer Grenadiers. Trying to find like a good cover position to defend this. Because with only 39 VPs left. Uh, that's, that's the only thing that really matters at this stage, I would say. Especially after just killing the Hellcat. But instead, these guys running down to cap more just standard territory sectors with 30 points remaining with the tick rate in Company Heroes 3. This, I feel, is a mistake. Not focused on the VPs here. And, uh... It's not so good. And yeah, again, uh, seems reluctant to use these Panzer 3s split up, just always in a group of three. Coming in here with the assault half track. Some kind of planes coming down from the US play. Jams the capture, but. This is a retreat. Is that the carpet bombing? Let's stop the cap there briefly. Fire. 
probing in other areas. Okay, so Sherman, double AT guns. Triple Panzers though, getting involved in the center. Should be able to cap this VP and close the match here. Triple Panzer 3 is getting in the mix. A little bit of assault green pressure on the AT guns, giving them something to think about at least. 21 points this time is capped on the VP, which I think is a good choice. And there we go, Reverend throwing in the towel. So yeah, her just getting a couple good squad wipes at the start. Uh, you know, that early Pathfinder loss really hurting. And yeah, what was it? By about 20 minutes into the game, all three Pathfinders were dead. So uh, definitely Reverend suffering in terms of territory control on the back of that. Some good plays, you know, in the north. Kept the crud alive for a long time, allowed a lot of territory control through this area, leading to uh, quite rapid fuel for her overall. But I can't help but think, yeah, <laughs> this was maybe more of a standard US strategy from Reverend. Stall into the easy eights. Would have been tougher for her, but then of course could have switched across from the machine gun upgrade to the veteran gunners to help against the easy eights. And uh, the superior fire drills, you know, I was expecting the Shermans to be rolling out, but Reverend went for a chaffy spam, which just didn't really seem to get the job done against the Panzer threes. Unvetted chaffies. Just uh, ended up getting picked apart. It was a decent, I think it was like an AT gun comboing up and killing a chaffy like all the way back here. I think that was really so hard to come back from that as Reverend from that stage, but did a decent job with the double AT guns. They kept Panzer 3s honest. As I said, I think maybe her could have closed the game earlier if he just went donkey mode with Panzer Storm, swarmed in here with all three of those tanks. Could have been a, an earlier GG, but, you know, it's easy to say as a spectator to see those kind of plays. But yeah, you know, the capping auto early on worked out well with the crud. Managed to win the fight for that central fuel as well. No 8 rad, but going for side tech. With the uh, fire support elements didn't go for anything from it except for the AT gun to assist against the Chaffee a bit. I don't know about the Chaffee. Like, uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't really kill any 250s or the crud, did it? So, didn't have much success with it. And of course, it is way worse against infantry than the Greyhound. But maybe he felt like the Greyhound would be too late after taking the bars. But he went for, no, he went for it before the bars. Yeah, I don't know. Bit of a strange build by Reverend, a bit all over the place. Like it seems at the moment, Company Furious 3 is very, you know, you kind of want to go all in on one strategy to try and make full use of like weapon upgrades. You know, you want to go all in on rifles so you can milk the most value out of the bar upgrade. With, you know, Africa Core, you want to go all in on, like, vehicles if you're going for a lot of these vehicle upgrades. So, Reverend, a uh, bit of everything. Didn't seem to be that strong and doesn't have the easy eight to bail them out. Late game, having gone for Airborne instead of Armoured. But yeah, the, the mines could have been her belt here's uh, undoing. Like, if, <laughs> if this was me, I was playing as Reverend, I would have mines everywhere you can guarantee it so <laughs> uh yeah they definitely could have been a factor but we didn't really see it from reverend this game instead he saved all his munis for carpet bombing which uh yeah it was a bit desperate but yeah the mines could have been the undoing of her but you know uh, they went and uh yeah we didn't see any panzer storm shenanigans I do think this ability is quite broken, though. I, I, like, honestly. I know the planes are also broken, and they did get a nice kill. But 
uh, I think the Panzer Storm would have got the job done as well. But either way, yeah, yeah, well played by her, you know, winning this one. I think it was like the early squad wipes that really set him up for a great game all the time. And, you know, it's tough, I think, for Reverend to mount a comeback with the uh, double AT guns. As I said on this map, though, he, you know, he kind of did just use them through this area and they weren't that successful. I think it's just because he never got the engine crits because he only replanted one mine the whole game. Could have been a different story. Um, anything else to say about this? No, not really. I think, uh, yeah. Everything uh, pretty smooth. Equal survival package. Requires... <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.